I'm Joost from Kids Toy Studio and I'm here with this Firo Mini Activity Kit. Okay, so let's unbox this and see what's inside. So this is a pretty sturdy cardboard box. The first thing is the cool plexiglass container here of this Firo Mini. You get a little USB charger, a case, some pins to knock over, and a little book. You get different activity cards here. So these are different activity cards. Create different shapes using the rails. And here's how to do this activity, the shape shifter. So you need to create different rails and then go around it. So let's look at these some more in a minute. And then a little box with all the equipment you need for the activity. So the bands here, and the plastic pieces to add these together to create different mazes. So let's unpack this. So the first thing we need to do is install the app. Let me share my screen here so you can follow along. Let's go to the App Store and search for Sphero. So I think I need the Edu app and the Sphero Play app here. There are two different modes of playing with the Sphero. So first let's install the Edu app and then the Play app. Sphero Play. Let's install that as well. Okay, so now I just need to charge it. Let's open it up. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. There's all the gears here inside and you can easily charge this, so let's make sure that it's turned on and charged. So once you plug that in, it starts turning blue and blinking different colors, so you know it's charging. And once it's done, it will start turning green, so you know you can use it. Once you remove it from the charger, you can connect this with your app. You can turn it off while in the app, so you can save some power, or you can leave it on standby mode and it will be able to connect once you turn on the app again. Okay, so now we can connect our Sphero, and it's already found him. And it's already connecting, so it's pretty easy to set up. And already connected, okay. And then I should aim the blue light to me. So that way it knows which direction it's going in. And now I can use a joystick just to control it. Okay, so that's already going there. Whoa, it's really, really fast. So I have a few extra settings here that I can use. Like the robot's maximum speed. So let's turn that way down because I'm on my desk here. And it's also a great to do for smaller children, I think, so they don't bump into things uh, that often. I can set the color, let do a little purple, the brightness, so perhaps the battery will, will last a little longer, and the sound of it. And then, let's see. Okay, it's already a little slower here. The maximum speed is already lower, so that's pretty cool. You can set all that. There are a few ways to uh, control this. Uh, the joystick, that's the first one, then the slingshot, <laughs> it's also pretty cool. You can set it back and then it will move in the opposite direction. Boing. Boing. Let's use that for the slingshot. Okay. You can use the tilt and that is pretty hard to do. So play and then you can tilt your device to steer it. So <laughs> that's a nice little addition. It's pretty hard. You have to keep it really, really, really steady. So that's a cool way to control it. Then you have the uh, screen drive mode. You can steer it in a direction and then, hi, ho! And then it will record your voice. And that way it will accelerate or not accelerate as hard. Then you have the kick mode. And this is cool because you can make really cool curves here. And bend it like Beckham a bit. <laughs> so that's cool. And you also have a golf mode, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it will go that way, I think. And then we need to swing our phone. <laughs> and we'll move a little, maybe swing a little harder. <laughs> and then the little ball will move. Of course, we've turned down the maximum speed way, way, way down. So it is can move a lot faster. Okay, and then we have the last mode to move here, which is the block mode. This is also pretty cool. First, you need to aim it. So the blue light's pointing at me. So now it's pointing at me, so it knows which direction to go in. And you can. Oh, I already did this one. Let's remove these. Then you can add these blocks and it will go forward and backwards or change the light color. Okay. 
in sequence. Oh. Don't fall. <laughs> and it will change the light color as well, so that's pretty cool. So those are all the um, ways in which you can control the Sphero Mini. And you can play a game with it as well by using it as a controller, which is really, really hard to do because it's very sensitive. Okay, so I can control this. Whoa. Ready, okay, so there it goes. And this is really sensitive. Whoa, whoa. So, uh, three games in total that you can play uh, and they're pretty fun to do. You really have to control your finger here as not to move too too fast. Okay, so let's turn this off. So those are the ways that you can use the Sphero Play app to control your device. You also have the Sphero Edu app, which is also pretty nice. And this is more geared towards education. So you can connect your Sphero here, Sphero Mini. So that's connected, <laughs> I'm very happy. And then you can do like drawing for shapes. That's one of the activities. It says um, how long it will take approximately. So this is very educational and more geared towards well, learning with, the, with the, uh, the, the robot. So let's continue with the activity. And your first drawing, you can make a first drawing. So let's do that here. Uh, undo. So you can make a drawing and then the sphere will move in that direction. So let's do this. And it should be back where we started. So there it goes. Okay, so now you know how far that will go when drawing. Okay, so maybe I need to do like a very small forward here. Like something like this. That is still very, 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 very fast. But this way you can do some educational stuff as well. Now let's look at the activities that you can do in the uh, activity set. Let's start up Sphero Play again. Now you get a nice little uh, cover here for your Sphero Ball, so we don't destroy it. It's especially useful if you're using this on a table. Uh, which I do not recommend. Now you get a few cones here. They're really soft and rubbery. So you can have the Sphero knock these down, for example. And you can not go through these cones, let's say. And have some cones here as well. And that way you have to steer Sphero. Okay, the blue dot. Yeah, so that's uh, towards me again. And then steer Sphero. to knock down the pins. Of course, you can also do this with the draw app or with the block app, and that way it will be a little more educational. So you need to steer Sphero two times to the left maybe, and one time to the right. So you can use this as a fun game or a more educational game. So let's do some blocks here and see if we can knock down the pins. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so one back. Two to the left and two to the front maybe. I think it's going to fall off the table, but let's see. So there it goes. Okay. Okay, you really have to go less far here <laughs> to um, be able to, to knock these down. But this is the idea of Sphero here. So you can use blocks to, well, like a little bit of early coding. You also have additional features here. You can add these slants to a little uh, blocks here. That way you can create a maze, which is pretty cool. You also have these activity cards that come along with the pack. So you have some different things to do. So for this one, you set up a bowling alley with two lanes and the pins at the back and then uh, one of the bows at the back so the ball doesn't roll away. And then you need to use the slingshot to pull back the ball and then slingshot it into the cones. <laughs> this is pretty hard to do. 
uh, but it's still it's still pretty fun oh and of course i had the speed set down really really low so it doesn't go that fast but i can increase the speed to make it a little faster but that makes it harder even and on the back of each card says how to do it so you have a bowling lane and then slingshot your way into these cones you can set the speed here a suggested speed and you see the drive mode slingshot and which app to use so each of these cards so for this one the windmill that was the edu app and the draw mode so for each of these challenges you can go through and get to know sphero as well and of course you can also make your own challenges for your kid here as well so there's a lot going on here that you can use to create nice things to do for your sphero so all in all i think the sphero mini activity kit is a very complete set and it's just pretty fun to do you can game with it a little you can just control it like an rc ball but you also can control it with a little bit more educational stuff here as well like coding blocks or drawing so that is not just a fun toy but also an educational tool but i really dig the fact that they don't push the education too much so it's still a fun toy as well